Alrighty, welcome everybody to another Rocket League game. Uh, this game is Oakmont Ragnarok versus the Three Piece Chicken Wings from Bonita High School. And it looks like they are first up on the scoreboard. So we are blue this match. This is a best of five series. Um, and it is match one of the main season for Play versus CIF Varsity California League of Legends. All right, looks like on our team, uh, we have Ethan, Austin, and Austin. And we will be seeing uh, Jose rotate in a little bit later as the other matches come up to make sure everybody who is able to make it today gets some game time. Got some nice aerial action there. Goes center, bounces off the back. Is there a shot to score? Goes in a little high. Still kind of contesting ball control. It looks like it's now under our opponent's control and they're trying to drive it down the center. With a nice forward diagonal flip there. Um, multiple touches on the ball. He's going to bounce it off the reboard and try to smash it in, but Austin's able to kind of deflect that back towards center. However, with two of them in position, it's going to go back to center. And kind of contested there. Looks like Austin should be able to clear this just fine and keep the ball down on their side of the field. And nice shot comes in, but it doesn't quite work. Keep in, keep in control there. You can see other Austin rotating back. Everybody's rotated back now. There's Ethan in place. And we should have a nice strong defense at this point. Hopefully no lucky breaks get through. Yep, lots of lots of cars in the way there. And yep, right over their heads. So let's see. Um, game seems to be pretty neutral so far. It does seem like both player both teams are kind of warming up here. Let's see if the action and pace gets a little faster. We don't see a whole lot of high speed boosting just yet. They're starting to pick up a little, maybe multiple people getting that aerial take and kind of rotating through. And Austin doesn't totally deflect, but it is wide of the goal. And yet it's coming back our way multiple times here, so... All is being heavily contested by both sides. It's back and forth, non-stop. Hey, good afternoon, good luck. Yep, you too. Oh, and second score, uh, same player, Gav Flav. Shout out to Benita High School. Oh, play. And Ethan just not quite there in time. He was in the right position, but just a little too far back to be able to deflect that. That was a good shot. All right, we see two, uh, what are they called? Rapid advances, I forget the exact name of that. We see some of that same kind of high off the side and center play. This rebound double shot here is gonna go in and Gav Cliff scores a third goal here. So we need to kind of stabilize this, but Oakmont, let's go. And we see nice connect there um, from both players, total 50-50. Other players coming back up once again on our side, but we should be able to get this out of here. Ooh, nice downward rotation there to get the ball grounded right to uh, Austin. That was a nice pass. That is not hard to, and not easy to air roll it like that and deflect it down, so that was cool. I like seeing that. And again, people are positioning pretty well. I'm not ever seeing any double commits at this point, so that's good. People are staying pretty well spread out. It does seem like we're sending two to the center to try to get a strike in when that thing gets centered. And that's meaning that we are, in fact, rotated back okay. Um, got there nice and quick. Um, but man, this ball is just back and forth, back and forth. It seems like we have fairly evenly matched teams at this point. Ooh, did have a double commit on the other team there. That's okay though, the thing's got overall ball control still on the R side of the court. Yeah. And that was some nice, consistent connection in air, though. You could see the front of the car in contact with the ball the entire time that our opponent was airborne there. That takes some skill. Oh, oh, oh! It's close, but they're able to knock it out in time. Good defense by Bonita High School. Good setup by Oakmont. That one does not connect through. So I have a feeling this first game is going to go to Anita unless we can make some miracles happen at this point, because it, it does seem pretty even in terms of overall skill. We'll see here. Both teams are playing well. Nice off the wall. Nice aerial redirect. Don't think that's gonna connect for a goal, but I also think that we're gonna be able to, ooh, 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 no! Oh, we were too slow to get behind that. That other car came out of nowhere. Um, shout out to James Bergman. Nice shot there, or nice, I'm sorry, nice assist. Gave Flav another shot. But he is now four and four for Benita's goals. 
definitely their striker. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think we can rack up four goals in 52 seconds, that's for sure. So we'll chalk this one up to a warm-up match and we'll see if we can get best of three later on here. Oh, got a double commit on our team. Works out for now, but we gotta be careful with that. Pretty awesome stadium in the background. You can hear the roar of the crowd. Definitely some high level Rocket League going on. And you're seeing some nice rotations. You notice that most of the boost plates are empty at any given point in time on one side of the field or the other. The question is which team is able to get more of those? I haven't really been tracking too well. Looks like we're able to at least take our own boost there. And it is just totally bottled up in the corner there, passing back and forth between the two teams. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, first player tokens. Thanks for following. And it's back to the garage. All right, so that is game one, GG. All right, hey, real quick. Our player spotlight of the week. Shout out to Andrew K. He is our, um, one of our student shoutcasters. He's also our League of Legends top laner. Um, he's a junior, got a super high GPA. He's planning on going to college and studying computer science. Um, he likes the community and professionalism of the esports team, also likes his conventional sports, and he does not like uh, people that skip anime openings. His best gaming moment was when San Francisco Shock won the 2020 uh, World Championship. So, kind of cool. And it looks like the other team has taken just a second to get restarted here, and we'll be hopping in that second match momentarily. Nice thing about Rocket League games, of course, is the quick turnover, short games, get a best of five done in no time. Not like the major setup between an Overwatch match. Alrighty, here we go, back to the gameplay. And I'm going to try to zoom out a little bit and get you guys a directed cam. That gets you kind of more of a aerial strategic view. Oh, nice angle. Again, Daff Lave putting up scores on the board. Anita High School is now in the lead 1-0. That was, that was a surprise attack there. I don't even think our players saw that one coming. All right, come on, Oakmont, let's go, let's go. Nice aerial by Odd Fishbowl, connecting well. Daff Lave is in position to try to bounce it in. And it is so close, he is able to nudge that just across the line. That ricocheted a couple times in the goal between the posts, but he's able to get it across just barely while two of our players tried to get in position to block and were unable to do so. And a nice fish animation on the gore score. My favorite ever is the splash. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Ah, Valorant player, very cool. We have a lot of interest in that game. Maybe someday we'll see if we can swap out Overwatch for that. It seems to be the up-and-coming Overwatch. Or maybe it's already there. It's quite popular. All right. A little bit of a delay there, getting that ball moving forward. Odd Fishbowl is able to take advantage of that and knock it towards us. Lethal Boar misses the aerial up over the top, and a demolition comes through on our follow-up. So it is currently 3-2 to two players on the field. Oakmont's a little behind. I don't think there's anybody to take that shot, although it was a nice setup by Lethal Boar, potentially. Ethan's getting bumped around. And he just is knocked out of position while the other two players drive it downfield. So Oakmont definitely getting the worst of that demolition derby there. Ooh, Ariel lines it up. But Jose is in and he's able to rotate it out. By the way, that's Jose. Uh, looks like he swapped in for uh, other Austin. There are two Austins on the team, by the way. Not sure which one's Austin and other Austin, but we'll figure that out later. Ooh. Odd fish bowls up and aerial. We got a double commit there, but that's more than enough firepower to get it out of the goal. However, it is coming right back again. And Gaflave does some crafty uh, dodges there, but we have a miracle save from two players getting it out in just the nick of time. Jose the Savage is able to drive it down and keep control of the ball for just a little bit longer, but it does seem like uh, we're more on the defensive than we were in the first game. We have blocked multiple shots already, so kudos to the Oakmont defense, but I'd like to see us move that ball down the other direction here. And hopefully Austin can do that. Oh, headed back the other way. 
And Jose, nice punch forward, high speed, good air. Balls in the corner, ooh, and it crosses the goal. Is there anybody there to shoot? There is not, there's no follow-up, there's no center. It was a beautiful pass though. All right. Going up and airborne, is able to contest that well. James Bergman is not able to redirect in midair, but Gav Flav is, and he's hitting that multiple times on the way down, rotating through to spin stabilize his car. He's clearly played that trainer where you fly through the flaming rings over and over again. That is some nice midair maneuvering. He's even coming down on the ball to be able to knock that in if he needs to. Not sure how much boost he had left in the tank, but that is some fancy gameplay to be able to knock it past the defender at the last instant if you need to. Oh! And Oakmon is on the board. Let's go! Nice shot by Lethal Boar. Came out of nowhere. 12 o'clock high. There we go. That's one way to do it. I appreciate it. Yep, well done. All right, a couple more like that. Oh, and both players are getting there darn fast, but Odd Fishbowl is able to get there just a little bit sooner. Big F Kennedy keeps it up high and is trying to get out of the way of her goal. Gavflave takes it, and of course, this is the one that scored all their goals. That's definitely their top player here. Uh, and yep, he is in the right place at the right time. Big F Kennedy goes in for a miracle save, but James Bergman is there for the follow-up. And we are not able to rotate back in time. You can see one of our defensive players coming the other direction as the, the two pass through there. But that was a double commit on our part, leaving nobody in the goal at that point. And in general, those double commits are working out. We're generally getting most of the saves. The problem is they have such good control of the ball that the shots are coming in towards us over and over again. And there, a couple of them are getting through. So not a lopsided game by too much. Again, I kind of see both of these team skill levels as about the same, but with Bonita High School just having a little bit of an edge and that amazing striker. That's okay, we can do this, Oakmont. Ooh, ooh, and cool. Jose should be able to clear that out. And it gets pinched quite a, quite a ways off to the right there, which is nice, gets us a little bit of breathing room. And Ethan's trying to push it forward. Um, able to drive it almost to their goal, but Defender is standing right in the way and has no problem deflecting that. Austin's able to knock it out, though, as they're trying to return it the other direction. Ethan is backing up, seeing what he can do, and Jose's able to get a bounce off it there, too. It's coming off the sideboard and towards center repeatedly. Um, but I don't think that we just have it quite lined up enough to make a shot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good. Okay. Nice boost and mid-air power there. Jose does seem to punch these pretty hard. Every time I see him go for one, it's, it's out of there. He's clearing them with power. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, and beautiful save as Gavflave tries to power it through. Austin is there in the nick of time. And you can see some fancy airborne freestyling that just barely misses. Um, but A for style. Digging the style points. Oh, wow. So if you watch Gavflave, you can see him airborne, like rotating his car and just boosting in different directions, trying to finesse the, the momentum. Trying to keep that car headed exactly how he wants it. You know, I'm, I'm at the rookie stage where I just boost forward and hope it goes in. Ooh, and that was close, but the follow-up is there, so James Bergman now has a, a point on the board as well. All right, with about 30 seconds left, it is not looking good. Um, so unless unless some miracles happen, we're going to need to reverse sweep this to be able to take a best out of five pretty soon here. And I would like to see a couple more goals here either way. Keep that game going. All right. Some nice dribbling there. Keep tight control of the ball. Ooh. Nice quick attack there. And with two defenders, uh, Austin is just not able to get control of that as it crosses the goal line in center. And we have a cross here. Hopefully that keeps going. We do not want that ball centered because here comes, yep. Okay. They, they are doing a good job at having somebody in position to take a shot every time it comes across our goal line. And zero seconds left on the clock, so that is pretty much game as soon as it grounds here. And it's back to the garage. Alrighty. Back with you guys in just a sec.
All right, and we're loading in here on game three in a best of five. So far, score is Bonita High School 2, Oakmont 0. Let's see if we can come from behind here and get some points on the board for Oakmont. Let's go. All right, so it looks like this game we got Austin, Austin, and Ethan up. Jose is rotated out. We'll miss his high-speed power shots from last game. I think, though, maybe... Um, I think we've got players in with a little more experience on the aerials from what I understand, but it it does not matter. James Bergman is able to get a surprisingly low speed, well, 51 miles per hour, that's not bad. I was going to say, it didn't feel that fast. It felt like our slow, inevitable demise, rather than that sudden, unexpected demise, you know? Alright, you can see everybody going for that high speed, um, quick thing, what is that called? The jump forward, twisty thing? Thing I can't do yet, I just hit the boost key to try to get it faster. All right, Ethan is up for it here, dribbles it sideways. I think they're just trying to slow down where it's at and get their positioning in place a little bit better, which there seems to be some confusion here. And that is going to present an opening for a shot, and the shot goes through. Darn! There was definitely some confusion on who was going where and where we wanted the ball there. It just seemed like we were stalling by pushing it up against the sidewall for a minute. I wonder if we're playing under stress or anything like that. All right, nice contest off the start. We're able to push it back a little bit. It is crossing center. Yeah, Flav is able to keep it away from their goal, though. He kind of knows that threat box and is dead set on getting out of there. Ethan goes in, ooh, for a fancy two-touch aerial. Um, but it is still knocked forward. And looks like it's contested there. Austin should be coming in. He's able to keep away from James Bergman, but odd fish bowl now is way out in front, and Austin's able to deflect that and get a save. Nice nice work. So again, uh, Oakmont defense has been pretty solid. All right, Ethan's going for a drive there, but he gets taken away. Gaflave is waiting for it. James Bergerman um, able to take it out. We got a demo off that. Is there any follow-up on their team? Good, okay. So maybe that demo was helpful. Because usually when they cross center like that, it's a hard, hard defense. All right, Ethan's trying to push it center and away. James Bergman is back and passes right back forward. You know what I'm getting the sense of? Is that every time we get the ball pushed across, they have somebody at kind of a halfback position who rebounds it right to the two on offense. I, I think that's why it's always on our side of the court and why they have overall better ball control. Our offensives tend to be pretty short-lived. Like this is an exception right here. Usually it's right back at us. I um, wonder if our players were able to watch this in the lightweight replay viewer, kind of from a strategic bird's eye view and see if that's the case. But I'm, I'm kind of getting the sense that, yeah, we're taking control of the ball quite often. Um, the problem is it just comes right back to our side of the field immediately and never really stays down in front of their goal. Ooh, potential shot by Austin. Doesn't quite go through, doesn't quite have the, the hit speed or the redirect on that ball. Um, good defense by two of our players, including Ethan, who's out front of that. Uh, one player misses. Austin's gonna go try to keep it away. Ethan gets demoed, but in the process, he's also protected our goal. Austin tries to get a flip reset there, um, but it misses, and Odd Fishbowl is able to score another shot. I think that was a flip reset, right? Still learning the terms. Could be wrong. All right, 2.21 left on the clock. It is Bonita High School 3, Oakmont 0. Let's go, Oakmont. Ah, uh, that's not, okay. Ooh, that was dangerous there. And, okay. Not the perfect angle for them to shoot, luckily. That's good. But see, here it comes again. And we're able to swap that out of the way. Good. And let's see if they can make anything happen off this backboard. All right, let's go, Ethan. Good job, nice shot. Good job, Austin, too, kind of escorting that down and backing him up. But that was Ethan, assisting Ethan there to the backboard and the shot. Nice setup. There's now Oakmont 1, Benita High School 3. Two minutes on the clock. And this is potentially the last game in our best of five series. So we got to turn this around. We need two more goals here in the next two minutes, at least. Then we can send it to overtime. I'd like to see this series keep going. It's been a pretty good one so far. Pretty evenly matched teams overall. Not too lopsided. A little bit of an edge to our opponents. All right, 
Ooh, nice try by Gaflave. Goes wide, bounces off the post. Ethan misses an aerial trying to redirect it. Um, and it slips. Oh, nice. Austin's able to adjust that. I thought that ball was going to go right by him, but he adjusts quickly. And that is back across the center line. Good defense. All right. Austin trying to get under that. Ooh, fancy pants uh, getting under the ball there and nudging it, but it goes clear across the field in one shot. And Ethan's now trying to redirect it. I am worried. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I am worried they're going to be able to take that from us. But we got our people rotated back now. We're okay. Yeah, we sure did. That, there was nobody there, so good thing it was just a little bit off. All right, Ethan knowing what's coming and getting right in front of it. Iron Curtain style defense. Ooh, quite literally, because it's the cars, you know? Iron Curtain, that's cool. Ooh, ooh, good defense, Ethan. Keeping it high over the goal so they can't angle that down. I like it. I gotta say, our, our defense is looking really good today. I just don't see how we're gonna convert that into ball possession and actual shots on their goal. See again, like, Ethan's an iron wall. And they're trying to keep it airborne. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Ah, all right, GG. Well played, Benita, well played, Oakmont. And good luck with the rest of your season. All right, that was short and quick for uh, Rocket League today. Thanks for tuning in for Oakmont Esports. Quick shout out to everyone who supports us. Um, that includes... Fire Up Esports Lounge in Roseville. Um, Mobilytics for their League of Legends analytics package. Our school district and uh, staff. Uh, tech support at our school. Shout out to Miss Brooks. Um, and let's see. Oh, and of course our leagues, uh, Play Versus, NACEF, and UFEA. So thanks for all the support. GG everybody, and that is it. We're signing out. Have a good one.